Hey guys, this is Bill from Linden, Tennessee. I'm going to do a quick little video, kind of a catch-up video. This is my 1997 Jeep Wrangler. I'm going to be doing a conversion. I'm going to be converting it to electric drive. I'm going to use a Tesla Performance drive unit out of a salvaged car. I'm going to be using an entire Tesla battery pack. At least I hope I am. Probably an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack um, I've already I bought this back in July this is November since then I've installed a long arm suspension kit from Iron House suspension Iron House suspension Iron Rock Rock Iron Rock House Rock House Iron suspension anyway a suspension kit long arm suspension kit at the moment it's sitting on the factory springs once uh, it's finished it'll be It'll be lifted a couple of inches, not too much. These are just 31 inch tires and I plan on keeping them 31s. Uh, it'll have a few inches of lift on it. The suspension kit itself, I think is three inches of lift, but it's gonna have about seven or so hundred pounds worth of batteries in it. And then the drive unit itself is 300. The drive unit is gonna be mounted right underneath the seats where the transfer case, or the transmission and transfer case was. The majority of the batteries, probably 10 or 11 of them, will be where the engine was. The remainder of the 16 Tesla modules will go where the gas tank was, and if necessary, I can put it where the back seats was. So I've already done a little bit of work underneath. I built I built a mock-up drive unit. So, if you look over here, this is the actual Tesla drive unit. I keep it over by the bird seed. Uh, keeps it warm, safe. So that's the actual drive unit. That little dude weighs about 300 pounds. So um, it's still it's just too much to lift around and use it as a a mock -up, or as a guide to where all the motor mounts are going to go. Uh, the the motor mount that you're looking at now, that one there would be the front motor mount. In this application, it's going to be the driver's side motor mount. I'll get into more detail about that at a later time. But basically, this is this. is you're looking at this from the front, uh, like if you were kneeling in the back seat, you're, and then looking down at the drive unit, this is how you would see it. Um, so we're looking at the front motor mount here. Normally, the axles come out of the left and the right side. Uh, so this would be the right rear axle, and this over here would be the left rear axle. In this application, this whole unit, as you look at it, will be uh, going clockwise 90 degrees. So this will be on the left side now. That is going to be the front axle, and then the on the right side, that's going to be the uh, back axle. I, guess, I say front, but I guess as we're looking at this video, down, <laughs> physically down on your screen, we'll go to the back axle. Anyway, it'll make more sense later. Doesn't matter. So, that weighs 300 pounds. It's a lot of weight to be lifting around to try and fabricate motor mounts for it. So, I've built a, a mock-up of it, and uh, the way... <laughs> The way that happened is uh, a whole standby, like you have anywhere else to go. So the way that happened, so what I did was I had this thing wheeled out, and I made some mounts, and then I made a structure that fits over the top of it. And that looks an awful lot like this. So you can imagine that piece sitting on top of that. It looks like that. And then I took this thing and then flipped it upside down and made some uh, some mounts that go in here and made basically made a 35 pound mock up of that 300 pound drive unit and that sits in here and then that piece <laughs> I don't know how confusing that is for you but that's all I got I'm not a very good explainer but. Uh, and that piece comes over here. That 
piece goes right there. That's what that dude is. Yeah, so that makes sense for you. So that is, and I hope this is the right side. This is actually the second time I did this video because the first time I did this video, <laughs> these these detail shots ended up being upside down. <laughs> That's annoying. So I don't want to do that. So hopefully this is not upside down. Uh, but these are the little temporary uh, motor mounts that I made just to kind of hold this thing rigidly in place. And now you kind of get a view of the long arm suspension kit going to the front. Um, yeah, so that's a, a, a drive shaft that goes to the back. We'll try and get you over there in a second here. That's just a, a, a three foot long piece of drive shaft with a universal joint on one end and a, a length to be determined on the other. And uh, that's the flange that's going to bolt to some stub shafts that go into the drive unit sometime. Um, right, so, so like I was saying, this is the, that's my little mock-up drive unit that I made. And I can use that for clearancing. You can see I had to kind of cut a little bit out of the body. A little bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. I could put a, uh, a suspension lift, or not a suspension, a body lift on it, but I don't like body lifts. <laughs> that's all. That's such how it is. I don't like body lifts. Uh, for my parking brake cables, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to, I've got a linear actuator. It's a 225 pound linear actuator and I hope to mount that linear actuator and use it to pull the parking brake cable so that all I have to do is push a button or whenever I push park or whenever I turn the key off or whatever it automatically uh, comes on and puts my parking brake on I hope we'll see how that goes uh, and towards the back there you go let me try and hold this better there we go yeah towards the back so there's the the four bar they do a four bar link for the suspension kit um, and they got like a truss that welds to the axle and then there's the yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with this thing. Let's see if I can back this out without turning you upside down. I hope so. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at with this thing. Um, and as we go along with this process, I'll try and do some updated videos. I'm not a video editing wizard. In fact, I don't really plan on doing any kind of editing. So you're going to get this just kind of raw and uncut full of ums and and dumb words uh, there's some really great video editors out there grind hard plumbing they're fantastic and uh, one of my one of my favorite YouTube videos and then also uh, what's the other guy he does a bunch of machining um, this old Tony he's fantastic too he's funny anyway I'm not those guys and uh, but I'm gonna try and get some videos out in a regular sort of manner and keep you up to up to speed on how this conversion is going so until next time we'll see you later